Hello folks from Slide Nerd. this is Vivs over here. In this video it's time to finish what we started long back. The bank program is finally coming to an end. We have everything defined. The case 1 where we add customers, case 2 where we deposit and the case 3 where we withdraw. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos please check the links in the description text below where I have talked about all the other videos as well. So here we are gonna work out how to get the balance for a given customer and how to calculate the interest for a given customer. Now if you guys have seen the previous video you know very well we follow a very systematic approach we say if the number of customers is zero that means no account number was found otherwise we browse through all the customers with the help of the for loop try to get their account numbers compare that account number with something with which we ask the user and then if we find a match we perform the required action now this is the same thing which is going to also apply as far as calculating the balance is concerned so let me copy paste the same code over here go to case 4 just go here and paste it again we ask the account number the user will enter something here the number of customers is 0 the account number will not be found otherwise we will start with the value boolean found equals false we browse through all the customers we try to get their account numbers now in this case if we find a match then we need to display the balance of that person for that we are gonna go here remove these two statements in between and simply say account temp dot get balance I guess it should be the account temp object dot get balance now this is gonna give us the balance that we want to see now we can directly print this in the system dot out dot print ln and thereby avoid our work right so this one is pretty simple and straightforward if you find a matching account with what the user entered just display the balance for that account where we say temp dot get balance so guys remember inside the account class we have the get balance method here which returns the double value of the balance so if you go back here let's try to run this and see exactly how this works I will say shift f6 at this point so guys notice it says enter your choice first we need to add some customers but before that if you want we can try to check the balance it will say enter account number I'll say one to one says account number not found so now let's add the customers by pressing 1 here and then selecting 100 bucks enter the account number a121 the name is Vibs and now as you guys notice the customer was created now if I say check balance here by creating flow 4 then it says enter the account number if I say a122 then it doesn't match and hence it says account number not found again let's check balance for account number 121 and as you guys notice it says balance is 100 bucks which means the balance part is working perfectly and last but not the least inside this great huge program that we have made the only thing that remains now is to dis calculate the interest for a particular user again it follows the same pattern just copy paste the thing as it is from above reduce that and inside this we can directly say that for end i0 i less the number of customers here first ask the account number the account number will be entered the number of customers is zero display a message otherwise go to the for loop browse through the different customers out there find the account object for every customer find the account number from that account object compare that with what the user entered above and if you find a match then here our work is to calculate the interest so if you remember the calculate interest method is inside the bank class by saying public void calculate interest here we can directly go inside case 5 in the if condition you can say bank that object we created above by saying bank dot calculate interest and here we need to pass a customer object inside so that customer is the current customer that's gonna be C of I right and that's all we need to do so now let's try to run this and see if we can calculate the interest for a particular person I'm gonna say shift F6 here this time I will add two customers one and enter 100 bucks for the first guy a121 account number name is Vivs. then I'll add another customer enter a122 oops 200 bucks as the initial balance a122 is the account number and Anki as the name at this point I will try to find the interest by saying phi here it will ask me the account number if I see a122 here then it's gonna say the interest amount 17 total money after adding interest 217 because the interest rate is 8.5 percent and we deposited 200 bucks which means 17 bucks are gonna be added and that means it's calculating it perfectly which means this is working again you can calculate the interest for the first guy which account number is a121 and 100 bucks remember the interest rate was 8.5 so here if I again say calculate interest enter the account a121 here 
this time it will say the interest amount is 8.5 total money after adding is 108.5 which means this is working take a big breather ladies and gentlemen we have done a huge program let's take a look at exactly how big that is you go down all the way it's over 320 lines easily and that's without comments if you have the comments everywhere it's gonna be easily 500 lines so hopefully you guys have understood something about how this complete menu driven program works if you guys do know something or you want to ask something about this please let us know in the comment boxes below subscribe to this channel I will have this code on github for you guys to refer if you like what you saw thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day